Good evening. I am Arachna the Spider People, your hostess with the mostess. And welcome to Beware Theater, because this Beware you're gonna see some really bad movies. We've got vampires, aliens, werewolves, monsters, and of course, the undead. So take a load off, pull up a couch, and fasten your seatbelt. It's gonna be a creepy night. Tonight, we watch a 1952 kinda strange horror movie called Bride of the Gorilla. It was written and directed by Kurt Siodmak, produced by Jack Broder. It was made in 10 days with a really low budget, and it stars Lon Chaney Jr., Raymond Burr, and Barbara Payton. Now, Kurt Siodmak is the younger brother of a more famous director, Robert Siodmak, who was known for film noir. But Kurt had his own niche. He wrote for Universal Studios monster movies, and he worked on Donovan's Brain and The Wolfman, that also starred Lon Chaney Jr. Now, the movie is a little hard to categorize. I mean, it's kind of surreal, it's kind of horror, and it's kind of so bad, it's good in a weird way. Bride of the Gorilla is about this unscrupulous foreman of a rubber plantation in the Amazon jungle. And he's lusting after the young and beautiful sexy wife of the older owner. Now when the owner of the plantation suddenly dies under mysterious circumstances, the foreman is suspected of being the killer. But he is never prosecuted, except the voodoo practicing housekeeper saw everything and she cast a curse on him that puts him in hallucinogenic hell. Or does she? There's lots of stock footage of jungle animals. There's a mythical shape-shifting weird killer supernatural being running around in the jungle. There's a love triangle and there's a honeymoon cut short because the husband is more in love with the jungle than he is with his new wife. So now we watch Bride of the Gorilla. This is jungle, lush, green, alive with incredible growth, as young as day, as old as time. I, Terrell, police commissioner of Itnan County, which borders the Amazonas River, know it as well as any man will ever know it. Isn't it beautiful? But I have also learned that beauty can be venomous, deadly, something terrifying. Something of prehistoric ages when monstrous superstitions ruled the minds of men. Something that has haunted the world for millions of years rose out of that verdant labyrinth. Let me tell you how the jungle itself took the law into its own hands. This was Van Gelder Manor, 
built to stand against the searing sun, built to shelter generations of Van Gelders. It also has become prey to the powers of the jungle, the terrifying strength that arose to punish a man for his crime. Barney. Good afternoon, Mrs. Van Gelder. It's been an unpleasant day. Your husband pays me to run his plantation, not to be killed by the heat. It's part of the job. Rubber's going up in price every day. I can't get enough workmen. When I do, they run away to go into business for themselves. Oh, when they had slaves. Aren't we all slaves? Sure. Not me. I'm free. You call this freedom? With bars in front of the windows? No, thank you, Lorena. This is no place for a beautiful woman. A woman like you ought to travel, wear pretty clothes, have some fun. Life runs away too fast if you don't hold on to it with both hands. My life is here with my husband. After all, he did offer to share his name and his home with me. You're confusing gratitude with love, Mrs. Van Gelder. There are other things much more important. A woman wants to be loved. Hello, Klaus. Hello, Doctor. Nice to see you, Dina. I was looking for you, Barney. You should have been at the warehouse. The heat got me down, Mr. Van Gelder. There was an accident, Barney. A man got hurt. They always get hurt. That's the chance they take. This one died. Would have died if you'd been there. I can't be in two places at the same time. Don't fight before dinner. Pardon me, Dina. Well, white people shouldn't live too long in the jungle. It brings out their bad side, their jealousies, impatience. Class isn't well. I told you, it's, it's his low blood pressure. You can hardly hear his heartbeat. I haven't had a chance for quite a while to get that close to his heart. Dina, it's his complaint that you neglect him. You don't understand him. Does he try to understand me? He's only too happy being left alone. He likes to read his books without me around to bother him. If you were married, you'd act differently, wouldn't you, Viet? I was married once. Long ago. You wouldn't know either, would you, Barney? Come again? I was just talking about marriage. What do you think about marriage? Marriage is a contract. A civil contract, isn't it? You mean it has nothing to do with love? It's a relation either of sympathy or of conquest. But every couple isn't a pair. You must have read that someplace. Sure. Everybody knows I can't think of anything clever. I, too, am not clever, Barney. But I know where to find wisdom. Thank you, Alon. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. We had a case of smallpox down in the harbor, class. I think it'd be wise to inoculate all your workers. You know about the complaint of that worker and his daughter? It's my own business, Mr. Van Gilder. You're living in my house. I demand that you conduct yourself accordingly. You've not done so. You can pick up your pay and leave. It's all right with me. What's the matter? What are you mad at Barney for? I don't want him here any longer. Do you mind if I have my dinner first? Excuse me, will you? Stay here. 
What's gotten into him? I'll find out. Did you pick a fight with Klaus today? No. But I'm old enough not to be pushed around by anyone. I don't like his spies. That old woman, Al Long. Ten to one, she gives him a report every day. I want to be treated right, that's all. Just because he has money doesn't mean he owns me. Don't go away. Don't leave. That's all I need to know. I want to take dinner with you. Be quiet. Now leave me alone. You shouldn't excite yourself. What do you want me to do? Smile? Keep my eyes shut? You do love her, don't you? Without her, I have nothing. You got rid of Barney Chavez, that was right. But still, I'd take her away from here. It's the climate. A woman buried in a place like this, you must understand if she gets a little mixed up. You too like her, don't you? Of course. She looks good to any man. That's a compliment to you. Listen to who's giving advice. My private life isn't perfect either. But then, I live alone, so nobody cares. That makes the whole difference. Barney Chavez is like a beast. An animal with animal instincts. I never thought, Tino, it would come to this. You better go to bed. I should too. I don't like to see you taking so little care of yourself, but you'll be all right. Thank you, Viet. Good night. Good night. Marina. Marina, what happened? Talk to me, my child. Bonnie, he lied to me. He doesn't love me anymore. I want you to stay with your people. But he will never hurt you again. Never. doing here? Waiting. I wanted to talk to you. I don't care to listen to anything you have to say. You chose your time to talk, Van Gelder, in the presence of your wife, your doctor, and your servants. What I have to say, I wanted to say to you alone. All right. Go on. I've done a lot of good work for you. Anything else? You read from the Bible tonight, Van Gelder. But you didn't finish what you were reading. I thought I'd made myself clear. It goes on. Let them be confounded that persecute me. Bring upon them the day of evil and destroy them with double destruction. I'm glad you remember something out of the Bible. A man sometimes gets in a spot where he has to make a big decision, Van Gelder. My decision's been made. Mine too. You're standing in my way. And Dina's. Did she ask you to tell me that? We love each other. What are you going to do about it?
I want to talk to you. You've been hurt. I'm leaving in the morning. You're coming with me. Let's tell Klaus. I'm not afraid to talk to him. He can't hold you here. This isn't a prison. Where will we go? Does it matter? I can get a job any place. Nobody will hire you around here. They all know Klaus. And they stick together, you know that. The world's a lot bigger than this jungle. Bonnie, I'm afraid. You'll be happy. I promise you. You'll be happy. have seen. Curse shall be Barney Chavez. He shall be like an enemy that's hunt in the jungle. Jungle shall haunt him to his death. So Dina Van Gelder is played by sexpot actress Barbara Payton whose real life was a sordid mess of love affairs and alcohol and run-ins with the law. So naturally, she's the perfect actress to play this young, sexy wife who squirreled away on this plantation out in the godforsaken Amazon jungle, whose husband doesn't pay any attention to her. So there she is, Samba dancing all by herself, and in stomps Barney, played by Raymond Burr, who is the overseer of the plantation. And he tries to sweet talk her into leaving the jungle and having some fun. Well, Barney is also sweet talking and romancing the young housemaid, Lorena. And he's also by reputation in trouble with the daughter of one of the workers. Word gets around, especially when the old housekeeper, Al Long, hears everything and she tells the boss. So, pious plantation owner Klaus Van Gelder, who reads the Bible before every meal, fires Barney right before dinner. Barney doesn't bat an eye because, well, he thinks he can get a job anywhere. So when Barney plans to leave, Dina gives him the goo-goo eyes to let him know that she has the hots for him. And that makes Barney happy because he has the hots for her. Unfortunately, when he tells Lorena that he's leaving, she gets all hysterical because Barney has pledged to never leave her. And in typical Playboy fashion, Barney pushes her aside and he says, leave me alone. Poor Lorena, she goes crying to Al Long who then vows that she is going to get revenge on Barney for what he did to Lorena. Now, Klaus von Gelder is not a well man, and his doctor keeps telling him, take it easy. But unfortunately, he gets into a fist fight with Barney over Dina. And Barney knocks him to the ground, and while he's laying there, we see this big old poisonous snake come slithering towards him. But what we don't see is the snake bites him and he dies from the poison. Surprisingly, Al Long pops out of the bushes at that moment with this weird looking poisonous plant, rips off a leaf, puts it on his forehead, and she curses Barney with a voodoo curse. Bah! Deadly, why are you dressed like that? Oh, you're taking samba lessons and you need a partner. Sure, I'll dance with you, but don't forget to put that fruit back in the fruit bowl when we're done, okay? You insist, Mr. Chavez, that the last time you saw Mr. Van Gelder was in this room? You have it in writing. Yet footprints the size and shape of your own were found near the body. 
Are you sure that you weren't in the garden last night? Why don't you come right out with what you want to say, Commissioner? Why don't you ask me if I killed Klaus van Gelder? You know, I had a quarrel with him. You got witnesses for that, haven't you? I have, that's true. But the evidence I have is not strong enough to bring charges against you. What is your opinion, Dr. Viet? Klaus van Gelder died from uh, shock and suffocation caused by snake venom. He was a sick man. It may well have been that he had a fainting spell in the garden and the snake attacked him. Anyway, that's my official report. And your private opinion? My private opinion is of no value. It might have been that during a struggle, Mr. Chavez knocked Mr. Van Gelder down. The snake bit him. These reptiles often attack when frightened. The doctor just told you Van Gelder died of suffocation caused by snake poison. That is official, isn't it? You have a discoloration on your jaw. A fight, perhaps? Yes, with one of my men. What about? Why don't you stick to the point? Why don't you arrest me? I would, but for one thing. These leaves, they come from a plant called the pediguan, the plant of evil. Do you know about such a plant? No. These leaves worry me. They're used to put an evil spell on people. Now listen, Taro, don't accuse me of using magic. I don't. Along, would you come here, please? I want you to answer me truthfully. What do you know about Mr. Van Gelder's death? He was bit by the snake. He was? How do you know? I saw it. You did? Then did you also see Mr. Chavez? No. He was in Mrs. Van Gelder's room all the time. Is this true, Mrs. Van Gelder? Yes. He came to say goodbye. Dina. Well, this would seem to prove that Mr. Chavez had nothing to do with Mr. Van Gelder's death. How long? Where is the plant that these leaves came from? You know it's against the law to own such a plant. It's dangerous poison. You can't make a talk, Terra, unless she wants to. You know that. Oh, I know. I guess we'll have to search her room. Nato, take Al along to her room and search it for a paid iguana plant. As you say, there's no use asking her questions. I sometimes feel as though I don't even speak my own people's language. Since I became an official, I, I seem to be standing outside their code of law. The inquest is closed. It's here, in the chest. Would you like to have such a plan for your own? It's against the law. It wards of sickness, keeps away the evil spirit, brings money into the house. I must destroy it, Al Long. But his power also brings evil. If you hurt it, you are cursed. Your wife will fall sick, your children die. Bring such a plan to your house tonight. No, I don't want it. I don't believe in black magic. Don't tell anybody I have such a plan. No, I won't. But you keep away from my house. I don't want witches near my children.
I'm glad Al Long saw it happen. I didn't want you to get involved. That was lucky, wasn't it? Don't go away. I won't. You know that. Oh, Pay de Guan. Cloud his mind. Change banish Chavez into an animal. In his eyes, he shall be an animal. He shall be an animal in the animal's eyes. Hello, Carol. Dr. Yes. Hello. This is quite a party. Is this your first marriage, Mr. Chavez? My father used to say, try everything once. Once I marry, I'll stay married. I've been married for 26 years. I keep my marriage going. My wife does the rest, and believe me, we both have to work at it. Is it really true you've been a dancer? Still, it's not polite to ask questions. Why not, Mrs. Van Huysen? Yes, I've worked all over the world. Rio, London, Paris. I've never been to a nightclub. It, it must be exciting. What a master. May I drink? May I drink to you, neighbor? We're only 40 miles apart. That's practically door to door in this part of the world. Well, I see you're getting service in your house. Here's the good service. unlucky. Every time I meet an attractive man, he's either married or just going to be married. Better luck next time. Excuse me, doctor. From now on, it'll just be you and me. Nothing else matters. Nothing. Promise? Oh, yes. I do. I've come a long way to find you. What's all that about? Mr. Schiff, the papers are prepared. All you have to do is sign them and pay for the government stamp. Every step in life starts with paying money. No, you sign first. I'm afraid you might change your mind. How shall I sign? My maiden name? Your legal name, Van Gelder. Suddenly, it hurt bad. Where did it hurt? In the fingers? Or... I'm all right. Don't worry. I'm all right. Let's go back. No, I... Tell him I got sick. Tell him I got a fever. Tell him anything you want. You better lie down. I'll send Dina in. No, me. I don't want to see anyone. You sure you don't want to see him? No. Now, leave me alone, will you? Right. 
Don't you like me? Of course I like you. Pour me a glass. Sure. Something's bothering you. You sorry you married me? No. Why should I be? I never thought I'd have such a beautiful life. But you've changed so much. Oh, no, I haven't. I haven't changed. Listen, Dina. Listen. What is it? The jungle. Close the door. I don't want to hear it. No. Sounds like music. You hear that? You hear that high sound? That's a bird with long red feathers. It flies without making a noise. But its voice gives it away. I know it. It's a vicuna bird. I even hear the snakes. I, I have to leave. Funny. You've got a fever. No, no, I haven't. But I have to leave. Well, you can't go in the jungle at this time of night. You hear them? Dina. Go to bed, Dina. I'll be back soon. If you love me, don't go. No, no. I'll be back. Bonnie, you can't leave me. Bonnie! Even though Lon Chaney Jr. has top billing on the poster, he has a smaller part than Raymond Burr. He plays the part of the local homegrown police commissioner, and he's in charge of the inquest into Klaus von Gelder's death. And Barney is suspect number one. But he can't pin it on him. He can't prove that Barney killed the guy. Well, uh, the, the snake that's probably slithered off by now gets written up as the murderer and Barney goes free. Mainly because there were two lies that placed him in Dina's bedroom at the time of the murder. So he's either an adulterer or a murderer. Either way, Barney was doing something he shouldn't have done. Now, Commissioner Taro is concerned 
because he recognized the leaf on Van Gelder's head as coming from a plant called the plant of evil used in voodoo. And because of that, that plant is illegal to have. But he thinks that Al Long probably has one. So he sends his lieutenant into her room to try to confiscate it. Well, Al Long has nothing to hide and she says it's in the cupboard. But I'll warn you now, if you take it, it will curse you. Well, uh, the lieutenant backs off and he says, I didn't see anything. And talk about a quickie wedding. Van Gelder's body's hardly cold and Dina and Barney get married. Well, that's one way for Barney to get control of the plantation. But you know, he should have stayed away from the drinks at the reception because Al Long squeezed him a doozy and it makes him all dizzy and then his hand starts to hurt and then his hand starts turning dark and wrinkled. Uh, well, what do you expect? Signing the marriage certificate turns you into a married man for better or for worse, so stop whining. And it even gets worse after that on the wedding night. Here they are drinking champagne and being all lovey-dovey and all of a sudden the jungle calls to Barney. He has to go. He's got to be out in the jungle. And he leaves his wife who's saying, hey, you know, it's our wedding night. And he wanders around in the jungle all night long like an animal. And then he sees his hands turning all hairy like a gorilla's. And then he looks into this pond and he sees a gorilla. Oh no, what's that about? And what deadly? Have a gorilla martini, it'll put hair on your chest. No thank you, my chest is just fine. And how many of those have you had? Bonnie, take you into the house quickly. on my hands. It's not my arms, not my eyes. It's not my face. <laughs> Hello, Dina. Oh, I thought you'd never get here. Well, it's a hundred miles away. How long's it been like this? Ever since I found him in the garden. When was that? Six hours ago. Well, you must have a fever. <laughs> oh, my hands, they hurt, they hurt. <sighs> Yes, he complained about his hands before. But the things he says don't make sense. The things he says in his fever? Of course not. The face. Face in the water. Face. Watch out! That's all we can do for him now. He'll sleep now. Give him quinine when he wakes up. Happy? Very. Barney loves me. That's the difference between my two marriages. And I love him. Class was my friend. What do you want me to say? I've already told you I'm unhappy about that he had to die such a horrible death. At such a convenient time. Yes. At such a convenient time. Klaus died of shock and suffocation. Or would you like to change your diagnosis? I know the cause of Klaus's death, but not the motive. An accident. How long saw it happen? She may have been lying. It was an accident. It must have been since Barney was in your room at the time. And you wish that wasn't the truth? Yes. A woman always knows a man's feelings about her. It's no use for it. Barney's my husband, for better or for worse. Dina... Barney's going to be all right. I'll stop by in a few days. You'll know where to find me if you need me. Thank you, Viet. Good night. Good night. Hello, Tara. Hello, Doctor. Come in. 
Am I interrupting important affairs of state? No. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. SOS Polo. Si, senor. Have you heard of this uh, big cat that's supposed to be around? <laughs> of course. Some say it's a puma. Others, a giant ape. And still others to say it's the sucarath. A sucarath? <laughs> that's a new kind of animal to me. That's a famous jungle demon that tears living animals to shreds with its claws and then feeds upon them. Has been known to attack humans also. Would it? Hasn't so far, I hope. No, but I'm sure it will. You're sure? Someone will use this rumor to kill somebody. Blame it on the Sukharoth. <laughs> it's happened before. It has? I closed the Van Gelder case today, officially. Death due to suffocation caused by snake venom. That's your report, Doctor. It's not my opinion. But, of course, my opinion doesn't seem to carry much weight in this case. <laughs> After all, you're, you're only the police commissioner who would be interested in your opinion. You know, Doctor, I was born in this little town. I know. I sometimes regret that I went to university and then returned to this jungle with its superstitions. It only served to confuse me. You never impressed me that way, Taro. How can I help being confused? My native mind is filled with these superstitions. My legal mind was developed through books written by people without emotion. Yes, but uh, justice must detach itself from emotion. Oh, that I realize. But I know that Barney Chavez murdered Van Gelder. I know it emotionally. I should arrest that man and charge him with murder. Why don't you? The case I have is not tight enough to get a conviction. I know that Al Long lied to protect him. But I also know that he cannot escape punishment. Why? The Sukarath. The Sukarath? The jungle demon? <laughs> Taro, you're joking. You don't mean it. Barney Chavez will be brought to justice. The jungle will see to that. Well, the longer I live here, the less I understand you people. <laughs> uh, drop in again, Doctor. Hello? Uh, this is the Commissioner. Oh, Mr. Van Hoysen. On your plantation? It's killed already? Oh, this is serious. Yes, I'll be right over. Immediately. Goodbye. Senorita, mi pistola. What's all that about? Three rubber tappers have already seen the Sukharov. They have. I told you it would be like this. And here it is. It's killed already. Next time, it might be a human. What does it look like, this uh, mystical animal? It takes various forms. But seriously, Doctor, why don't you come along? Talk to the people that have seen it. It'll enlarge your knowledge, and we might need a man of your profession about. Oh, I wouldn't miss having a look at it for the world. If these fools hadn't trampled all over the place like a herd of elephants, we would have found footprints. Mm. Neck's been broken, teeth marks, hide's been torn to shreds. You, come over here. Did you see this animal? Yes. I have seen the animal. Was it the jaguar? No. No, Doctor. It was huge and red. Red? Yes. It has a head like a man and teeth like an alligator. <laughs> what did I tell you, Doctor? The sucara. That it was. My wife saw it too. For a couple of nights, it was sneaking around our hut. It walks in his hind legs. Like a man? No. Like a beast that walks like a man. Oh, that terrible voice. Not only I have heard it, my friends here have heard it too. Well, there's only one thing to do, set traps and see if we can catch the beast. We have put many traps, all along the clearing and in the jungle. Well, what did you use for bait? Young goats. Well, if you catch the sucarath, just call me. I'll sell it to a circus and make a fortune.
Demons, me, beard. Don't shoot. Oh, I'm so glad you came. I was scared. Of what? I don't know. Somebody was here. Tell me who. I don't know. I don't know. What did you shoot at? I don't know. Easy, Taro, easy. Her nerves are on the edge. Where's Mr. Chavez? Out in the jungle. I haven't seen him since last night. In the jungle? Yes. Well, it doesn't make sense. What's he doing in the jungle? Hunting. Hunting? He didn't take his gun along. He hasn't need one. We came to warn him that the rubber tappers have set traps in the jungle. What for? There's a strange animal about. It's killed many cattle already. What kind of a beast? It's an unusual animal. It walks on its hind legs. Don't forget. Warn Mr. Chavez to be careful of traps when he goes in the jungle. Oh, come, come, Taro. Next thing you're going to say is that Barn is the jungle demon, the Sukarath. The Sukarath is only a symbol. What are you talking about? You better take Barney away from here. And what if he doesn't want to go? He'll go if I ask him. But I wish I knew what he was doing out there. Mrs. Chavez, the next time he goes into the jungle, why don't you accompany him and find out? But if you should, be sure and go well on. Stuff. Much better than your quack doctor. I think I'd better call my quack doctor just to make sure. No, I don't want you to talk to him. I don't want you to talk to anybody. I told you nobody should know. Why not? It's not your fault. Anybody could have stepped into that trap. No. Anyone but me would have known. What do you mean? I... Uh, I heard something. Something I never heard before. Something strange and beautiful. A voice calling me. I couldn't resist going out there. I couldn't resist getting closer and closer. The next thing I knew, I, I was in a trap. Oh, let's go away. I wanted to right after class. Right after. But I didn't dare. The people... I don't care what the people say or think about us. The past can't hurt us once we're out of here. Let's leave right away. Tomorrow. 
Remember I told you once a woman like you ought to travel. Let's go to Paris. Now, I've never been there. I I'll buy you clothes in Paris, and then we'll go to London. And I'll buy you clothes in London. Bonnie, I love you. Please don't let anything happen to us. Darling. What is it? It's, it's nothing, only... All my life I've had to fight. As long as I could remember. I knew I'd get hurt if I ever stopped fighting. But with you in my arms... As long as you hold me. As long as we're together. I know, I know. I love you, Dina. For the first time in my life, I'm not afraid of saying it. To you, or to myself. I love you. I'll never forget. Never. I'll never give you the chance. I'll always be there reminding you. Always. Always. So there's this scary mythical creature called a Sukaris that's out in the jungle killing animals and cattle and shredding it with his claws, but only at night. Now Barney's out in the jungle and he's wandering around doing who knows what, but only at night. Now this coincidence plus Commissioner Tarot's spidey sense has him convinced that Barney killed Van Gelder, but he can't prove it. No matter, he doesn't care, because he knows that the Sukaris will get justice and punish Barney for his crimes. It's the way of the jungle. So does that mean that justice will be served and we can stop watching this movie right now? No, sorry folks, we're only halfway through. Now, some of the plantation workers come back and report that they've seen the Sakaris, and it's big, and it's red, and it has a head like a man, and teeth like an alligator, and it walks on its hind legs. But you know, a Sakaris can change into any shape it wants. So they decide that they're going to set traps and try to catch this monster. So what that means is they put a pole in the ground and they tie this poor little goat to it in order to attract the Sukaris to eat it. And no, 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 folks, no, nothing happens to the goat, I promise, at least not on camera. And of course, to make it scarier, a thunderstorm breaks out. And then we see these scary eyes of Barney coming into his house. And then he looks in the mirror and he sees this big gorilla and he punches the gorilla. Yeah, that'll show him. And then he leaves. Well, Dina hears the noise and she's no shrinking violet, so she grabs a big old gun and she goes running through the house trying to find whoever made the noise. And then she starts shooting outside at some other noise. Luckily, she missed because the doctor and the commissioner were coming to her house to see Barney. Sorry, you missed Barney. He's out in the jungle again. And then Commissioner Taro says, yeah, probably hunting. So the next morning, Dina grabs a big old gun and she goes out into the jungle trying to find Barney. And she does. She finds him with his leg stuck in this big old bear trap. So they pry it open and they bring him home. And Al Long tends to his wounds. Yeah, she tends to him, all right. She makes another one of those evil plant drinks. Deadly? No. No, I don't care that you found this poor little plant in the trash. I'm not bringing it into the house. I don't like the way it looks at me. Sorry to see you leave, Barney. I haven't left yet, Doctor. I'm still around. 
Where are you going to live? I hear Dina's mad about Rio. Oh, we haven't made up our minds. Don't question him, Doctor, or he might reconsider selling the plantation. I don't think so. The papers are already drawn. Taro will be here any moment to notarize them. You can rely on Taro. He's around when you need him, or when he thinks he should be around. He has an intuitive sense. It's quite uncanny. There he is. Talk about him and he pops up and never fails. How can you stand the jungle this long, Doctor? I can't. But I signed a government contract for five years. It'll be over soon. So let me have a look at you. What's the matter? Your eyes, the pupils, they worry me. There's nothing wrong with me. How are you, Commissioner? Oh, as well as can be expected. I'll be glad when the rains come, though. Well, I have the papers all drawn up. All they lack is your signature. I hope these are the final papers I must sign. We do not sign the final papers. That's right. I sign them. I am the coroner. Exactly. This is all, madame. Those things in the chair are for you, Lorena. Thank you, madame, but Alon doesn't like me to wear this kind of clothes. Then throw them away. Come in. Hello, doctor. Now I'm sure you're leaving. I didn't quite believe it before. You didn't? No, words often don't mean much, but when you see it, why... Uh... Well, you'll be seeing us in Rio. Didn't you tell me you were leaving the government service? Yes, in a few months. This is for you, Lorena. I think you'll find use for it someday. Isn't that the dress you wore when you married class? Yes, that's why I want to get rid of it. The past is dead, Viet, stone dead. And I don't want to be reminded of it. I'd like to speak to you alone for a few minutes. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, madame. That's all, Lorena. What's wrong? You look serious. I'm worried. About me? No. About Barney. He's not well. It's the fever. He'll be all right once we get out of here. Uh, tell me, Dina, does he take drugs? Quinine, that's all. I watched him today. His eyes... What's the matter with his eyes? Dilation of the pupil. Certain drugs cause uh, optical atrophy, uh, sympathetic irritation, or weakness of the ocular nerve. I don't understand a word. He uh, looks to me like a man who's been poisoned. Poison? I'm sure of it. I'd like to examine him, but... He'd never stand for that. I know. It's almost impossible to make a diagnosis without chemical uh, analysis. But all the symptoms seem to point to the fact that... Wait here. I'll get him. Here I am with a hundred thousand in cash in my pocket, waiting for a man to pick it up. Have you seen Barney? Have we seen Barney? We thought he was with you. No, the last time I saw him, he was talking to you. How long? Where is Mr. Chavez? He went away. Went away? I saw him crossing the garden for the jungle. Well, he should be back soon. Dina. He won't be back tonight. Tell Van Hoysen that there's no use waiting. But what's he doing in the jungle at night time? It's suicide. Well, it's suicide for me, too, waiting for him. It's silly. I can't concentrate. Ten o'clock. I think we should send the servants out to find him. Something must have happened to him. It's no use. He won't be back until late. Then you tell Barney if he wants to sell his plantation to see me at my house. Tell him this is no way to behave, running away without an excuse. Mrs. Chavez can sign the papers. She's the legal owner. She could? My husband's the boss in this house. Well, I wish my wife could hear that. You tell Barney to show up tomorrow or our deal is off.
I'm glad they left. They left day before yesterday. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to sell the plantation. I like it here. Barney. No use arguing. My mind's made up. I won't stay here. If you want to leave, I won't hold you. Barney, you've been poisoned. Be it sure of it. Poisoned? He's been lying to you. Oh, don't tell me different. I've had my eyes open. Well, why should he? He's in love with you. There's nothing between Viet and me, and you know it. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I'm not happy here. I'm happy out there in the jungle. Barney, please. Why shouldn't I tell you? Why shouldn't I? Out there, in the jungle. Out there, everything's different. I seem changed. My hands, my eyes. I can see further than I've ever seen before. The smallest leaf on top of the highest tree. I can climb as if I had wings. I can smell a thousand smells. Flowers, plants, the animals. I'm strong and powerful. The jungle's my house. It belongs to me. Bonnie, listen to me, please. It's all in your mind. Bonnie, please, listen. I love you. I can hear voices. Voices miles away. The animals talk to me, and I understand them. I understand them. They're afraid of me. Afraid of me. Yes, I know. Bonnie, go to sleep. You're tired. Tired? Tired? Yes, I'm tired. I'm tired too. Very tired. Please, go to sleep. I will, until the night. When it's night, I'll show you the jungle. Then you'll know I'm telling the truth. What do you want? We cannot go on working for you. Why not? It isn't safe. There's an animal around. We are afraid. We almost caught it in a trap, but it got away. Now none of my men will go to the jungle anymore, as long as it is alive. What does it look like? It, 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 we don't know. We just came to get our pay. We're going to move away from here to Edward some else place. Sure. If you can have your pay, I won't stop you. Yours, two weeks pay, that's all. Okay. Your, your hands. What's the matter with my hands? It looks like dry blood. Drink it down. What is it? Take it, it'll calm you. I'd be frightened if I weren't so unhappy. He thinks he's a jungle animal. What kind of animal? He says he can kill. He was rational up until a few days ago. You must face the truth, Dina. There's no sense in running away from it. I can't quite make it out. He'd act that way if he'd been poisoned. These natives have many ways of driving a man out of his mind. Uh, uh, there are drugs that cause uh, hallucinations, schizophrenia, manic depression. But who would want to poison him? And why? You know why. I don't. Taro thinks that Barney murdered Klaus. Viet. He's convinced of it. And you? I'm certain. Barney killed Klaus, and it was no accident. It was premeditated murder. You don't want to see it because you're... you're in love with him. I am in love with him. He has to be put away. He's dangerous. 
It might be his conscience that's driving him out of his mind. He likes the jungle. Believing that he's an animal, he thinks he has the right to kill. Sooner or later, he'll turn against you. I'm not afraid. But don't you understand? As long as you are alive, you'll remind him of his crime. I told you. I'm not afraid. It's my duty as a doctor to have him placed behind bars. Your duty or your desire? You want to get rid of Barney. You're in love with me, aren't you, Viet? Yes. Since the first day, Klaus brought you to his house. I'm sorry. Don't you understand that I can't live without Barney? We belong together. He's my husband. For better or for worse. Servants have run away. They have. All the workers have quit. Everyone's gone. Why don't you leave? I can't. Sure you can. You're free. That's what Viet told me. That I can go wherever I want. That I'm free. He's right. I told him that I belong to you. And only death can part us. Death can't touch me. I just started to live. You don't know the jungle. Now I do. And I hate it. I hate it more than any woman that would take you away from me. What else did your doctor tell you? He said you killed Klaus. Did he? Tara thinks so, too. I don't care. They won't find me. I will. I'm going with you. You wouldn't like it out there. You haven't got the eyes to see or the ears to hear. It wouldn't protect you. You hate it. That's why it hates you. Don't go. Let's stay here. Don't go tonight. We'll go tomorrow together. Remember the night you said you loved me? You said you'd always love me, always. You said you'd always remind me that you love me. I like my jungle. Oh, let's go back, Barney, please. I'll never go back. Never. Stop. Go on. Why don't you shoot? You can't miss. But you won't make me go back. You and I don't belong together anymore. Bye, Dina. Bonnie! Dina, where are you? Dina! How long? Lorena! There's not a soul around. The servants must have gone, too. I expected that as soon as I found this. What is it? It's the Pediguan plant. Al Long had it all the time. It's the poison she used on Barney Chavez. She wanted to take the law in her own hands. Dina must have followed Barney into the jungle. Right. Well, how can we find them at nighttime? I know my jungle, Doctor. Out there, my senses are those of an animal. Come.
Come here. Something that has been haunting the world for millions of years. The jungle has risen to punish Pawnee Chavez for his crime. So there you have it. A lurid tale of desire and murder and hallucinogenic plants. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. This movie teach me that if you are lusting after a married woman, which is never a good idea, and you let a poisonous snake kill her husband so you don't have to, you probably won't go to jail unless a voodoo priestess sees you do it. This movie also teach me that if you're going to be going into the jungle, Taking a class on poisonous plants would be helpful. So until next time, or not, this is Arachna of the Spider People, wishing you nighty night and reminding you that scary mythical animals do exist, even if they're only in your mind. Deadly, I've never been to the wild and weird botanic gardens before. Sounds really interesting and fun. Oh. Welcome to the wild and weird botanic gardens where you will experience unexpected flora and fauna. Here's a guide to the gardens. Enjoy your visit. And don't forget, never leave the path for any reason. It's for your safety. Wow, this is beautiful. And now for your first challenge. What do you mean our first challenge? We just came to look at the flowers. Listen up, it's tea time and the queen is light. What do you do? Uh, well, I, I guess we wait until the queen gets here, and uh, in the meantime, we look at all the beautiful roses. <laughs> Where did he go? This place is wild and weird. So what'll it be, my dear? Tea and grumpets or croquet? Uh, 
Well, it's uh, four o'clock, it's tea time. So uh, I guess we drink tea? Correct. So drink up and grab a stick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this tea tastes terrible. What did you say? I mean, this tea is quite distinctive. Righto, it's my favorite blend. Now stand aside. What did she just do? Your turn. Um, I'll uh, give it a try. Stand back, Dudley. And don't miss, or you'll have to prune the roses. And their thorns are poisonous, you know. Oh, oh what have I done? Oh, oh, no. Quick, out this way before she comes to. Oh, Dudley, not only is this place weird, it's insane. Oh, oh good. It's a nice, quiet desert garden. Oh, and the cactus are really interesting. But boy, is it hot. Oh. Oh. Greetings. I bet you're not only hot, but thirsty, too. Who said that? I did. Here, have a drink of freshly squeezed cactus juice. <gasps> A talking cactus. Why am I not surprised? Uh, thank you. <laughs> is this tequila? Something like that. Now your challenge here is because climate change is making a lot of the earth really, really hot. What do you do? Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a little dizzy. Must be the tequila or the heat. What did you say? Climate change, desert, what do you do? Drive an electric car? Not enough, what else? Recycle? Not enough, what else? I don't think anybody can solve climate change unless you turn back time. Bingo. But that's impossible. Don't be too sure of that. Oh, what happened? Where are we? This looks like a prehistoric forest. <gasps> and where's the path? There's no path. We're supposed to stay on the path. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, Debbie. Uh, is that a pterodactyl? What? Who are you? You don't look like any of the creatures here. Uh, I'm Arachna the Spider People, and this is my friend Deadly, and we got thrown back in time in order to stop climate change. But we can't do that by ourselves. Uh, we just want to get back to our own time. Can you help us? No, sorry. I can't help you. But your challenge here is that you've gone back in time to before when the dinosaurs made the oil they say is ruining the planet. What do you do? Do? The dinosaurs are going to die one way or the other and they're still going to make oil. We need to survive right now so we don't get eaten by that one. Can you help us get out of here, please? No, again, sorry. I am not allowed to help you. However, look at these symbols that are on the rock. Somebody put them there. They said they were helpful. Give them a try. Tedley, look at those symbols on the rock. They look like media buttons. Push the fast forward one and see what happens. Oh. Oh, that was too weird, even for us. Oh, but look, the path is back. We must be back to our own time. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, let's follow it. 
Looks like we're in the Amazon jungle. Hope there aren't any snakes. Congratulations, you made it back. Who said that? I did. So for your last challenge, you find yourself in a jungle full of animals and plants that want to kill you. What do you do? What do we do? We run. Oh, stop, Tedley. I gotta catch my breath. Oh. Wait a minute. I think we passed those two trees that look like chicken legs before. Uh, look, I think that might be our way out of here. Come on. Oh, a bar in the middle of the jungle. Why not? Come on in. What'll it be? How about some voodoo brew? Freshly squeezed from my rare plant. Guaranteed to put hair on your chest. Oh, no thank you. We've had too many weird drinks today. Can you tell us how to get out of this wild and weird botanical gardens and get back to our time? This place is madness. <laughs> yes, we're all mad here. You fit right in. So, you want to stop playing this game, do you? It's just a game. Oh, thank goodness, I thought we'd be stuck here forever. Help us get out of here. Sorry, I can't help you. However, you could choose from some of my magical things here to make a spell to release you from the game. Choose wisely. Magical things, huh? Sure, why not? Okay, maybe there's something in here that can help us. Uh, not that. Uh, not that. Oh look, a spot bubble. Not that. And, oh deadly, I don't even want to know what that is. What are we going to use? Right. We're going to use the exit door. Hey, you forgot to pay for your drinks. Oh, finally we're out. Oh, those botanic gardens were too wild and weird even for us. Oh, they should call them the hallucinogenic gardens. Come on, Deli, let's go home.